<laughs> Protein is an important part of our nutrition because it builds and repairs tissues. According to studies, 50% of women don't get enough protein. Do you get enough protein? You think? Lexi? I think so. I've been craving a lot of it since my workout. That's right. You've been doing all the the, the the stuff you make during the day, the chicken, the whole thing. So the big question for women is, how much do you need? Dr. Beth Westy is here to answer that, and also hopefully share some delicious snacks with us. Yeah. If they aren't all gone. <laughs> Welcome back. How are you? Yeah, it's great to be here. Thanks. Um, yeah, a lot of women don't get enough protein, and they don't realize how hard it is to live with a protein deficiency. So many women are tired, fatigued, not having enough energy, having trouble sleeping, and they're looking at all these other things thinking that that's it. Oh, I just need to sleep better. Or I need to have a better sleep routine. But really, it's the protein that they're get not getting through the day that's affecting all of that. Mm. And there's many different ways to get the protein, which I know yes. you brought some different examples here too. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. So it's really easy to try and plan high protein meals. I have a cookbook online that is all high protein, clean recipes for women. And that's great to do, but oftentimes it's even snacks that we're missing out on protein. So having, oh, I'm gonna have an apple, which is great, right? That's healthy, mm -hmm. but there's no protein in that. So this is an example of a snack that I love to make that my kids love too. That's super high in protein. They're just, they're protein balls. So oh, nice. a version of, you know. Excuse me, Larson. <laughs> that's what these are, if you want <laughs> those one. Those are. They're yeah. chocolate peanut butter. Um, oh, really? Yeah, and so the ingredients are right here. It's very simple. So I use a little bit of honey, uh, mm. peanut butter, or almond butter, any type of nut butter, and then I also use coconut oil in them. Melt that, and then <laughs> add. <laughs> Chris is going to eat this whole thing. Is that too much protein for him? <laughs> There's no such thing as too much. Mm, uh, and then I add so chocolate good. protein powder to it and mix it up. And then you can also add things like dried cherries, raisins, things like that, just to add a little more flavor to it mm. or spice it up a little bit. That's just the, the plain recipe right there. Could you run that by me more? Because this mm. is really good. It's, how do you, how he, was, literally, he was doing too many mm noises. Yeah. yeah, it's literally these four things. Peanut butter, honey, coconut oil, and then chocolate protein powder. That's it. So simple, what? so easy. So I have three kids. They help me make them. They help me eat them. Mm -hmm. And they're super delicious and really high in protein. So yeah. I just roll them into a ball and let them dry or what? Yeah, you roll them into a ball. I pop them either in the fridge or the freezer. And I'll make a huge batch at once and put half in the freezer to try and make it last. And mm -hmm. they're a great snack, after school I'm snack. I'm so into these. <laughs> Thank you. These are really delicious. Yeah. yeah. So you just said something though. There's never too much protein. Is that really true? Well, it's really, most women are hesitant on eating more protein. They're thinking, I'm going to get beefcake and oh, mm. I don't want to get too bulky. And it's not... It's not really how it works for women. Women build muscle differently than men do. So it's really important that women are targeting protein throughout their day, doing some protein pacing throughout their day. And so really for women to get too much protein, that's a, that's a really hard thing to do. It's like worrying about drowning in the desert, you know? Right. Could it happen? Maybe, but. Correct me if I'm wrong, but, oh, sorry. Oh, you go, you go. Don't proteins impact people's hormones and all that absolutely. kind of stuff too, so. Yes, absolutely. So uh, with everything going on in women's bodies and, and hormone production, a lot of times if you're not getting enough protein, not getting enough nutrients, your body really has a hard time functioning at a normal level. So when women try to get enough, you know, get to these different health levels, they're like, oh, I want to go on this diet or nutrition. They're not even at a baseline to get a good result. So protein is a great way to get to a good baseline then to start something to get a better result. Mm, I'm I sorry, love. your have daughter's you, you not getting with, any of these. Have you tried those with sun butter by chance? Yes, mm. sun butter, almond butter. Sometimes I do a blend of nut butters. Changes the flavor a little bit. God, I'm so into those, thank <laughs> you. All right, stick around, much more coming up right after this.